Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of East Memories of Salsette. It's your boy Kyogre Gaming, and you know how we do things around here. Look at a broken bridge. Hold on, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, I can attack while swimming. Good to know. I mean, you would expect no less from Adol, really. Oh man, I'm getting Xenoblade. I'm getting Xenoblade Chronicles uh, flashbacks here. And uh, Star Ocean till the end of time vibes with, you know, hugging the walls and whatnot. Good job. Good job, team. Got the iron ingot. Okay, that's all you. Nice. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Damn. Looks like it won't budge. Let's see. <laughs> He's right. It won't budge. Nope. It's not budging. Told you. Don't think there's any other way to go deeper into the mine, though. Hmm. Well, let's look for the key. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. There's gotta be a key somewhere nearby. Well, there is way more we can explore of the map. So... Can I? Yeah, nice. Uh, there is a little path here to the north. Let me just quickly nip by and see. I don't think we should be able to, but it won't hurt, will it? Yeah, it doesn't look like you can pass through here. I just want to see if there's like anything else I can... Yep, there wasn't. Cool, cool beans. Wasted everybody's time. Happens. Story of my life. Let's go. Could this be the key? Ugh. This too? Hmm, still. This is a much simpler lock than the one on the gate. No problem, leave it to me. Well, look at you. It's like a nimble doggy. Yeah, okay, but Could you please... My turn. Picked a lot. Okay, I like Durin. Looks like that did the trick. Right then, let's go get that gate open and see what's waiting for us behind it. Leave it to me. Yeah. There could be a boss fight behind you, so what you want to do is always be prepared and save your game. There wasn't. Got some more honey potion. Man, this game is clean. I like this. Okay. Yeah, boy. Leave it to me. Well, that feels like a boss fight, doesn't it? Leave it to me. Nice. Roda Droplet. Now, what does that do? Can we peep it? Items. Honey Potion recovers 100 HP. That recovers 10 HP. 10% HP, but also works as a Phoenix Down. So, we like that. We're gonna keep that. It's gotta be certain. Feels like a boss fight, doesn't it? Yeah. I've got to pick up the cues the game leaves behind. Huh, this place feels a lot different from the rest of the mine. It's like some kind of old ruin. Okay. The Awakening Armored Beast Aldabos. 
Interesting Hold design on. from the jump. Is this the same monster that started all the trouble? Watch out, Adol. If you don't want to die, you better hurry up and remember how to fight. The following sequence will allow you to fight effectively. Obtain SP with charge attacks. How do I use charge attacks? <laughs> use skills to charge the extra gauge. Unleash that. Okay. Come on, that one always gets me. So it's like... Kind of like Tokyo Zen, right? Come on, I dodged that. Or rather, I dodged through it. Beautiful, dude. That was fun. Woo! That was close. For who? But man, I gotta say, you're pretty strong. You might have lost your memories, but I'm starting to see how you were able to make it out of that forest alive. No, oh, that was nothing. Relax. Come on. Don't give me that. You look as shocked as I am. That's just how I am. Some people have resting bitch face. I have, like, eternally shocked. Being naive is bad enough, but naive and reckless? You're not gonna live long if you keep that up. You two! Halt! I couldn't believe my eyes. You actually managed to take down that huge monster. I am Wagner, the head miner. I'm so glad you're, uh, you're okay. I can't thank you enough. You literally saved all of our lives from certain doom. As long as that monster was there, we had nowhere to go. At least none of you are too worse for wear. Thank goodness for small favors, I guess. Absolutely. I'm eternally grateful that no one was hurt. Although, there is something worth noting that occurred in just in the next area. See, there's a strange statue there, and at one point it starts to glow, and that seemed to calm the monsters down a bit. It might have been just my imagination, but I could swear it actually happened. What kind of statue? What kind of statue? Uh, well, it had wings on its back, very distinct. You look like you want to see it even more now, Adol. If you're that interested, you should go take a look yourself. We, on the other hand, we're gonna get the fuck out of here. Sure thing, take care of yourselves. So, you're into these kinds of places, huh? Well, we're here anyway, so we might as well take a look around. What's this wee bullshit? You go out. I'll call you if I find any locked chests. Hey, what's that? The fucking thing they were describing, bro. Is that the statue Wagner was talking about? Do you see anything else in this fucking locale? Hmm? Adol was suddenly stricken with a violent, intense headache. Adol. <laughs> I truly sorry. 
This way, bitch. Certain you return this false sanctuary. I have. Hey, Ada! You okay, bro? Was it that voice you heard outside again? You don't look so good. I think it's about time we head out of here ourselves. Suddenly, a light appeared before the two, concealing a small winged object within it. Hold on. Wow, that sure wasn't here before. Where the hell did it come from? Sure looks old. I wonder what it was used for. Do you think this ruin has anything to do with the voice you heard? I don't know, man. Shit! I know that when miners dig up ruins, monsters sometimes show up or other strange things start to happen. Seems like this is just another unsolved mining mystery for the history books. Well, I'm ready to go anytime. When you're done down here, let's head back to the surface. Oh, I'm done. Oh. So, this silver wing. Uh... Silver wing. Artifact, yes? No? Maybe? All? Where is the fucking silver wing, mate? It's minerals, Marie! Allows party to put warp between monuments of the same color. Okay. So, presumably, we're gonna have a cutscene as soon as we get out of here. Let me just save my game, you know, just in case. I meant out of this room right here. Yeah, I know my games. I know my games! The silver wing is shining brightly. It appears to be reacting to something. Oh boy, what now? We should have like a question counter. The amount of questions this motherfucker asks is too damn high. Is it resonating with that stone monument? Let's take a closer look. Yeah, boy. What just happened? This is the entrance to the mine, isn't it? How did we get here? Did that mother <laughs> stop asking questions, man? Fuck! Yes. It's like your one saving grace is opening like locked chests. Otherwise, nah. Nah, we're not doing this. Hell no. Nah. Come on, man. You could make yourself useful and find us a pickaxe. We got shit to do. Or a bulldozer. Okay. <laughs> What's going on here? Here they come! Here they come! Here they come! <laughs> Good job. We heard all about you from the head miner, kid. Thanks for helping my friends, big guy. Excellent work, gentlemen. So you are the red-haired youth noted in the report. What report? My name is Griselda. I am the Governor General of Celsita. It is a pleasure to meet you. I am Adol Christen. Adol, you say? A fine name to be sure. Fitting for one as brave yet approachable as yourself. I too would like to extend my deepest thanks for saving not only the miners, but some of our army soldiers as well. There is more I wish to discuss with the two of you. But I would prefer not to make this commotion any greater. Would you mind accompanying me to my office? Sure. Oh, let me get a sip of my coffee, man. Mmm. Damn. Still. This is quite the coincidence. I recently heard of a mysterious island called Asteria in the east, long cloaked in violent, impenetrable winds. And I also heard that it was freed from its storm wall by a young red-haired man much like yourself. Now that you mention it, I heard something similar from a traveler back in the bar myself. 
a while back. But there is no way, right? Regardless, I would like to extend my deepest thanks to you for all that you've done here, Adolf. And there is one other issue that I would like to discuss with you. What's that? Are you familiar with the great forest of Celsita to the northwest of here? Maybe. Well, which one is it? Yes. No. <laughs> I said maybe, okay? Hey doll, just say you've never heard of it or this is going to get real confusing real fast. It's said that those who set foot into the great forest immediately lose their bearings. Why? Ferocious beasts prowl its expanses and few have ever returned alive. As such, even our army has been hesitant to explore its depths, leaving it mostly an uncharted wilderness. However, we have recently received orders from Rome instructing us to find no gold deposits, so we must make haste. I therefore have a formal request for you, Adol Christen. Would you consider undertaking the task of mapping the Great Forest on our behalf? What do I look like a fucking... Mapping it? What is this, Etrian Odyssey? Again, it is an uncharted wilderness. Few set foot within and fewer return. Therefore, no map presently exists. You would begin a thorough expedition into the forest starting tomorrow, carefully mapping every melier, huh? I cannot deny that it will be a dangerous task indeed, but you will be rewarded most generously for your efforts. Tomorrow we will be formally announcing the quest and presenting the first able to complete it with a large sum of gold. Now what kind of money are we talking about here? It will be awarded in installments, based on percentage explored. In total, our budget is 30 million gold. Not bad. Numerous explorers and prospectors have already heard rumors of this and begun gathering here in Kaznan. So if you are interested, I would like to hear your answer as soon as possible, before sundown tomorrow, preferably. However, the hour is late, so please, rest for the night. There's a room at the inn. I am hopeful you will think it over. Hmm. Okay. Just uh, allow me to lick your walls and shit because this is for mapping purposes, don't you know? Yeah, okay. Uh-huh. Yep. What you think of this? Can I talk to you? No, you're useless. You're a lucky guy to be able to talk to the Governor General personally. <laughs> it sure would be nice to get called inside instead of just standing guard here all day. Sup? Hoping to join the army? No. No, Teddy. I'm sure you can tell by just looking, but this is a guard room. There is nothing worth seeing here, so I wouldn't bother staying for very long. You might catch a cabin fever. So, that's just him, yes, yes. Let's head on over to the east wing. Mm. What's up, Adjutant Bateau? Y'all have no goodies whatsoever. I am disappointed, to be honest. But the art style... I'm a big fan. Hopefully, the rest of the games going forward will be of the same quality because this, this, I can get jiggy with this. I like this. <laughs> Pistachioed, man. <laughs> you are the swordsman who took down that monster in the mine, aren't you not? Damn right, motherfucker. <laughs> I thought so. How did I know you ask? Because I am a genius, of course. Hmm. I am the Great Leo, commander of the Celsetan army, and the finest swordsman around. Okay. Don't you start getting cocky just because you took down a little monster while I was away. I appreciate you giving me this break to drink my coffee. If I'd been here, I would have defeated it in a tenth of the time. With such skill and grace, you would have been left speechless. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Relax, Titus.
Where did your voice actor go? He fucked off. That Commander Leo is probably the most infamous man here in Kaznan. I'm sure you can see why. Oh boy. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm done. No more sipping. I'm good. Exhausted, Adol and Durin made their way toward the bar. Uh, I think this has been the longest day of my life. So what are you gonna do about the Governor General's request? Well, I'm going to accept it, man. What do you think? What else am I gonna do? Huh, really? That's surprising. How the fuck do you figure? At all. Yes, Durin. Durian. <laughs> no, no, there is no us. I ain't split. We're not taking my 15 mil. Fuck you. We can race. Nah, I don't trust this guy. Yeah, he's gonna betray me, man. I don't like this guy. I feel like I'm being used. I shouldn't say that. Otherwise, he's gonna be more suspicious of me. Sounds like a good plan, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, it's a deal, all right. Mm -hmm. I'm about to stab him in the back. As it was late, however, they opted to rest up at the inn for their impending expedition. It's an interesting jingle. The next morning, they visit the Governor General to formally accept the mission, then immediately begin preparing for the road ahead. Now, I'm sure you're ready to explore, but let me just give you a rundown of the things you need to do in Kaznan, okay? First, quest. Here's how they work. People want shit, you do shit, you get rewarded. You got it, motherfucker! You can accept quests whenever you want by checking the quest board at the inn. And every time you complete a quest, you will get a reward from the client. You see that board over there? That's Kaznan's quest board. Let's go have a closer look at it. What's good, Luluka? Yeah. Thanks. I mean, if you think I'm famous now, she Holla at me in 20 hours. It's been rumored for a while, but they finally announced they're offering reward money for mapping out the Great Forest. But what's more important than money, you say? Being alive to spend it. Problem is, if you got nothing to spend, being alive is boring. Anyway, let's take it slow and see what happens, right? That's my motto. I mean, I can easily see this expedition turn into a battle royale of sorts. Where, you know, I'll fill out the map, like, get to a certain percentage, like, let's say... 60%, 70%, and then you have a, a group of hunters who have been lazing about just following us while we've been doing the, you know, dirty work. Just ambush us, try to kill us, and get the map, and you know. You see where I'm going with it, man. Uh, drinking in the afternoon is the best. Being an explorer is such an easy job, dog! Shut up, beaver. I'm glad the game is like, that's not the quest board. Those are the stairs to the second floor. What's good, Peach? Okay, so let me talk to you as well. His name is Black. Original. A boy who has lost his memories and a suspicious information dealer. Whew, what a pair you two are. And just who are you? The name is Black. I'm an information dealer who's worked in this town for quite some time. I met you before, but it's not as if we spoke all that much then either. Either way, it's nice to meet you again. Like, oh man, do I even do I even have any money? Probably. Let's do it. Two of the most dangerous places in the Great Forest. Okay. 
It's fine. What a dick, dude. Sounds like it was worth 20 gold if you even that. Muscle milkshakes? Mucho, you need to relax, dog. I just wasted 100 gold. You there! Yes, you reading this notice. Do you have what it takes to help me make a super special drink? For more details, talk to me at the bar counter. Hold on, yes. Can I? Do I not? Whatever. Bitter potion. Okay. Can I not see anything else here? Like, what the fuck? I wish to purchase 20 chunks of iron ore. Okay. I can do that. Did you check everything posted there? You were like looking at me like a motherfucking hawk, man. You know I did. Well, it looks like someone from this bar has put up a request. Two people, actually. I am a man! Fucking idiot. <laughs> Convenient, I guess. If you feel like accepting it, go talk to him. Might be good practice, though this guy's a little odd. Okay. Can I fail these? Can they end up as botched quests? For sure. Oh man, I can see this being a very grindy game. Also fun because the combat is like very fast fast paced and stuff. Um Yep. Cool. Oh no. Bitch, leave me alone. Sup? Yeah, I wanna accept that. What's up? Okay. Fabros milk, you say? Okay. What's that? Do I have a sneak button? And you're gonna pay me how much to milk a cow? Yes. Sweet. Yep. So we have established. I'm off. Who else has a uh, quest? Let's see. There's no one else, right? Uh, that right there. <laughs> a whole stack for milking a cow? What? Okay, this one, Soldier Wallace, Goldsmith. How many do I have? I have... Two. <laughs> Fuck! So, there are a few shops in Kaznan worth mentioning. This is Billy's Curios. Seals all kinds of items from health potion to antidotes. This is the weaponsmith. Yep. Relax, man. Oh, okay. Just gonna drag me over there, cool. Nice place, isn't it? That guy over there is, is its namesake, Thomas. You wanna buy weapons or armor? He's the man to talk to. All right, Tomas, let's see. Come on. No, just fucking stop dragging me around. Okay. Hold on, let me see what you got. Let me see what you got. Short sword, 100 Gs. That's what we paid to... 
for that trash ass um, quote unquote information. We got spears and maces? Interesting. Very interesting. Can I sell? Tempted. Yeah. I don't think I can afford much though. That's the thing. This is the goldsmith trading post. There are a bunch of handy shops here. Like the smithy right here, where you can get your weapons and armor reinforced. Okay. Okay. I wouldn't mind going back to the mine, farm up some materials, you know? Mm-hmm. Oh! Interesting. to reinforce my thing with the thing. How? Nah, don't do that. Okay. So we need one more iron ore to make an iron ingot. Shame. Yeah, got you, man. I would be careful when pairing up, man. I think she's gonna kill you. What you got? Excuse me? Has an interesting history. Wow, wait. Interesting, I'm gonna have to buy both. Sell iron ore. No. What you got? What do I got? <laughs> no. Sell. Nothing. Talk to me, man. Got you. Okay. Let's see what else we got here. Uh-huh. Thank you, man. Pretty amazing view, right? That's the great forest of Celsita, spreading out from one horizon to the other like a vast sea of trees. I <sighs> can't wait to start exploring it. We'll see how long that enthusiasm lasts. Though apparently you've made it back alive from there once already. Anyway, take a look to the northwest. Is that a great road of tree? Okay. Can we zoom out a little bit? Map completion.
Okay. I will try. 0.8 though. Does this count towards map completion? Oh, this feels very much like um, the area in the first game where we talked to one of the goddesses. Where she had lost her silver harmonica. Yeah. Okay. What's up, man? Jimmy. I think what we're going to have to do here is... We're just going to try to explore a little bit more. You have no dialogue. Good. I think I definitely want to... Explore the rest of the time. Maybe nip back to the mine if I can. Okay. But I assume, like, once we get to 10%, that's gonna be the first threshold. doesn't work towards map completion or it just means that the map is that big that this is really nothing <laughs> which would be a little bit you know intimidating to be honest Tonio well you, you need we might need more seasoning bro that might be it yeah man what's your signature dish so you Wallace huh we saw your quest on the board me all right so you come to accept it then well that depends on the details fair enough all i ask for you is to run a little errand on my behalf i'll give you the funds so go to the item shop and buy me some honey potions that's all there is to it you lazy motherfucker you wait seriously you can't just go there yourself are you really that lazy well i have my reasons all right i've been banned for some shut up <laughs> will you accept or not yeah. Cool. Three of them, huh? What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? This man is out here giving his scraps from his meal. That's what he's been doing. What a dick. Listen, man, how many do I have on me? I already have three, so go ahead. Take this shit. It's not exactly from the market, but whatever. some jarring ass jingle okay so what what, the, what what does this thing do this bitter uh 500 oh rough mate fuck this shit this man's an idiot so how does that look in my journal now done okay cool And now we're cutting up a bit close with the time here. I don't want to have these episodes too overly long, you know, but... Figure... I'm about to go to sleep, so can you just fuck off, please? Hmm? It's hard being in charge of the night patrol. What you mean, closed?
Okay. I am so tempted to use the right stick to uh, rotate my camera, but it won't allow me. Yep, 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 got you, bro. We're gonna have to face off against Dwight, right? What you got, man? Honey potion. I mean, might snag me a couple of these. Just in case, you know? <laughs> oh, come on. So, we've been in there, there's nothing for us to do. She has been working on her spiel. It shows. Okay. Let's just get this over with. Exchange. Uh, exchange. This. What you mean? Is this good? What? So I have... Okay. Hold on. Can I sell? Yeah. Sell. Sturdy bone. And... Yes. But listen. I can use it in crafting later. And I can always grind up 300 gold coins. It's no problem. Don't worry about it. I think it's way more beneficial for me to... What the fuck do you mean? Quest. What do you want? Oh, he wants the 20, right? He wants the 20, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. I, I, I'll get that for you. Don't worry about it. I'll get that for you. What about the rest of us? Uh, that path right there. I guess this leads to the forest, yes? Any cutscenes to be aware of? Estelle? What do you sell, bro? Mouse. Fine. I'm gonna murder you. That's that's it. That's basically it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate you. Okay, so I think we're gonna call it an episode right here. Next episode, we're gonna exit through this gate right here. But in between episodes, I'm gonna head back to the mine and see if I can finish up some side quests that we have uh, undertaken this episode. All right. Until next time, though. Right, this sure. has been this has been your boy Kyle Gaming. I'm out of here. Love y'all and do sees.